this request a lot from students, so I'm going to make a whole um, video about it. So usually when a student wants, say, a video to show through um, text, they're usually like, well, this is a mask, but it's a special kind of mask um, called a track mat. So I'm going to show you how to do that through this composition. Um, so we're going to go to composition, new composition, and this one is going to be called um, your first and last name, followed by uh, track mask underscore, and then um, the date. Um, this one we're going to change back to five seconds, zero five. And then it's um, your choice for background color, but I would stick to white or black. I just think it looks more sophisticated with this kind of technique. And then I'm going to hit OK. All right, now I need to actually get some video footage. So I know we've been working with illustrations. Um, so I'm going to go to Pexels Videos to get some stock video. Um, and you can type in, you know, whatever you want. Um, so think about this. You're going to be... Um, using text and then this video footage is going to show through the text so like water looks really cool with this um, like leaves could be cool um, so you're it's gonna you ha you have to understand that some of it's gonna be kind of um, cut out so I wouldn't do anything with like a focal point but this would be like a really great one so I'm gonna download this one and it's downloading to my downloads and then I'm gonna have to import that video so I'm gonna double click and go to my um, downloads and there's the video that I just downloaded say open and then I'm gonna click and drag that to my timeline um, so now that is in my um, video so now I'm gonna use the text tool and I'm gonna click and drag to create a text box and the text box is gonna say go Panthers and color doesn't really matter um, because the video is going to come through, but I did want to show you that um, font is really important. Like I would pick a really fat um, font, like you don't want to do a really thin one for this one, otherwise you're not going to see a lot of the video showing through. So I'm going to center this. All right, and we, I'm just gonna leave it at this font, but I would I would check around for different kinds of font, especially like slab, serif would look really cool. Um, really, really thick, fat, oh, like Mutant Academy. I know you guys, and you guys can download video uh, fonts if you guys know how to, to add something else. Okay, so then I'm gonna go to the Go Panthers layer, and where it says source name, I'm going to right click columns, and I'm going to say mode. So mine's already on. And then note the new column that's called track mat. So you probably don't have that column when you first, you know, started using it. I've been using it. So then next to, I'm going to look for the drop down menu under track mat and select alpha mat next to go, um, go Panthers. All right. And now notice I have that video behind it. Um, so I'm going to Select the space bar to render. Oh, oops, I changed my working bar. So it's rendering, but notice that it has the audio with the video. So I'm going to unclick here. And now I don't have that anymore, okay? The last thing I wanna do is I wanna actually animate this text in. Um, so I'm gonna go to animation presets and then text and then animate in and then I can pick like any of these things to actually you know um, animate in so you can click and drag on to uh, go Panthers and then just hit spacebar to kind of I actually like that um, I, <laughs> I like the first one I picked but if you don't like it hit command Z to undo and then try another one and then you just have to hit the space bar to, yeah, see that's kind of more cheesy, whereas the other one was like really nice and like uh, fan, like fancy, very sophisticated. So I'll try center spiral. And again, this is like too crazy, right? It doesn't fit with the type of video that I picked. Um, so I actually am gonna go back to, or maybe like wipe in from center, I'm not sure. So um, just play around with it. That one's okay too. Um, but pick one that you actually like and then that's, that's it for this one. So you're just going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue.
And um, this one I didn't, oh, I forgot to label. So this should be your first name, last name, underscore, and this is um, track mask, and then the date. Make sure you're exporting to the right place, and then render. And this one's all done.